Charlie already gave a statement, so what's this all about? There's been a development in the case. We've had a tip-off that Charlie and a friend may have been involved in the potential spiking of Vicky Grant. A tip-off? From who? I can't answer that. Well, in that case, Leah won't be going anywhere near a police station. Yeah, exactly. And it's some of grass, and we want to know who. You know, it, it could be a prank or something. And that's why we need to question Charlie again. The easiest thing for him to do now is to come down to the station, supervised, and clear everything up. Um, well, how do I do that? Oh, you tell the truth. You say nothing. Well, even if I'm innocent. It's probably just a misunderstanding, but you don't want to give him the opportunity to blame you. So, you're not under arrest. There are just a couple of things about your statement that don't quite add up. Maybe you can play some of that up for us. Um, Is there anything you want to tell me? No. I've, he's already told you everything he knows. We all go to parties. Sometimes things can get out of hand. The pressure to take drugs can be really intense. I know you still care about Demarcus. You and him were very close. His girlfriend was badly hurt. So can you tell me again what happened? No comment. Right, so the camping trip got out of control and Vicky ended up in hospital. We know that you had the drugs, Charlie, but who gave them to you? Um, I really don't know. Look, we know that you and Leah Barnes were in possession of the ecstasy and we know that you put it in the cup that Vicky drank from. Charlie. Charlie. Don't forget what we talked about, all right? I don't know. I don't know where they came from. I need some air. Yeah, it must have been terrifying to witness something like that. Seeing your friend so helpless. She could have died. A young girl like you, gone in an instant. What really happened to Vicky matters. And knowing the truth matters. It must feel like a weight on your chest. Because the feeling of guilt, suffocating. Well, I just... <coughs> uh, no comment. Vicky took the drugs. But we both know it was their fault, don't we? Where did you get the drugs, Leah? My stepdaughter has nothing to say. I assume. Italy. We've been told you had the drugs, that you and Charlie spiked Vicky. We need to know how you got them. This is no joke. Leah, you could face serious consequences. Come on, Leah. Oh, yeah, there he is. The jailbird. Excuse me? Leah was practically traumatised in there, and I think we know who to thank. Well, she can thank herself. What's that supposed to mean? Darren, look, Charlie's not to blame for all of this. Well, as I recall, of the two teens, only one has a history of selling drugs. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, he's led Leah astray. Drugs, teenage pregnancy, the boys are walking cautionary tale. Look, Charlie doesn't need to be treated like this, by some stuck-up, judgmental hypocrite. If anyone's a cautionary tale, mate, it's you. Yeah, well, this isn't about me. All right, Charlie, you don't call, text, or see Leah anymore. But Leah! Same. Come on. <laughs>